good football team, just like we thought. Really good defense um, football team, and they, they controlled the clock on offense. We got to go back. We got to look at this film and see where this thing went wrong at. And we got to come back and fix it. We can't let this team beat us twice. Questions? How's Casey? Right now, he's, we, we getting him checked out right now. He's just probably going to be day to day until I, I have more of him probably tomorrow after after we finish with the doctors. What, what Mickey, the game, Mick, Mick the game got away from me in the final six, six and a half minutes of the first half. Mm-hmm. Were you surprised it got away from me that quickly? Well, I, I knew after when, when Casey went down, we was, we was in, you know, we thought we was in a good place when Casey went down. After Casey went down through the pick, yeah, I was surprised that it got away that quick, got away from us. What What is the nature of Casey's injury? Is it an arm? Or- yeah, I think it was his arm. He got he got um, jammed on the elbow and he kind of hit the nerve and he couldn't feel his fingers. His hand was numb. Mickey, a couple of interceptions uh, near the red zone. And- so for Bilbo, how impactful were those missed opportunities? That's big. We can't. We, we we talked about winning the turnover battle, and we didn't. We got to we got to win the turnover battle. We had too many turnovers. You, you went with uh, Logan at first, and mm-hmm. with Chubb in the second half. Kind of what was behind the decision process? Well, we wanted to go Logan because we thought we was going to run some option, and then we figured we had to throw it to get back in it, so we went with Chubb. What were they doing to Trey Palmer? He just had one catch today for one yard. Did they do something to take him out or was it more that you guys just couldn't get it to him? Well, they mixed, they mixed it up. We couldn't get it to him, but um, they were really handsy. And we talked to him during the week that they're just not going to let you run. So he's got to run through some of the contact. He understood that after doing the game that he had to run through it. But just some plays we just couldn't get it to him. Mickey, was there a thought to go back to uh, Logan in the second half? We talked about it, but we thought we had to throw it, so we thought we'd stay with each other. What did you see with Chuba in that back that was leading some of the struggles that he had out there? Oh, well, he's, he's just got to take care of the football. You know, in the interception, he's throwing backs across the field. You know, you learn that first day of quarterback school. Don't throw across your body. Don't throw across the field. Should have just ran the ball because we already were in field goal range. We already had points. And he understood that after. He just, I got to get him I got to get, I got to prep him better. I got to get him ready better. How do you think you stood up physically with these guys? Because I know you preached that all week. Yeah, I thought I thought we were physical. I thought you know I thought the defense played hard. I thought the defense you know went went at them. They they're big they're big offensive line and they run the ball well. How much of the second half? Um, I think he gave you twenty nine yards. Yes, we yes we, we, it went downhill. We got off the tracks um second half and like I said we got to go back and look at the film. But I can tell you they dominated us in the second half. Mickey, how confident are you in Logan Smothers in the throw game? Well, I'm confident in him, you know, but I, I think that, you know, if we wants to go with, with Chubba because we think Chubba throws a little better, let's go with Chubba. But we, we have to take it from here because we don't know what's going to go on with Casey. So it's a possibility you'll see both of them. How, uh, how do you feel like you established and stuck with the run game today? I thought we, 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 we had some runs, and I thought we, uh, we missed some runs also. And we got to do a better job of just creating, creating more seams. This tour is a possibility. Excuse me. Torres. Torres. No, no, right now, right now, Torres not ready. I don't know how frustrating was it not to get Trey more involved. Well, it's frustrating when you can't get, you know, the guy that you need to get the ball to. You know, it's frustrating, but you know, we other guys, we got to look at the film because we, I thought some other guys were open also. Um, we can ask Bush this obviously on on Wednesday as well, but there were a couple pass plays where they, it seemed like they they got really open mm-hmm. the, two, the two touchdowns. What, what did you see on those two plays, and what maybe couldn't you guys? Have done? There were some rub routes, and we got we got to fight through the rubs. You know, we got to get over the top over the top of it, or we got to fight through the trash to get there. And we talked to him all week about the pick routes, and that's the first touchdown one was on a pick route. And we got to we got to fight through the noise. We got to fight through it. I know it's never just one play, but that the Ramirez drop, you had to probably feel like that was a play that was going to be pretty big for you. Yes, yes. Remember, you know, and to the kid credit, the kid caught the ball all week. We repped that play at least 10 to 12 times, and he, he didn't drop one, and he dropped it today. But I'm not going to say one play lost the game for that kid, you know, because we, we got we need that kid to play with a play for us. What do you say? Like you just mentioned you can't let these guys lose twice, so how do, you, how do you keep these guys positive? Well, we just, we just talked and said, you know what, we're going to come back, we're going we're gonna to watch the film, and we're going to look ourselves in the mirror, we're going to be honest with ourselves, we're going to tell the truth like we always do on Sunday, and we're going to see where we went wrong at, we're going to fix it, because if we don't fix it, it's a copycat lead, they'll come back and hit us with it again next week. Is the gap between Thompson and the backups that significant in terms of what we saw today? Is that, that indicative of what you've seen in practice? Well, I think anywhere around the country between one and two, it's going to be it's going to be a big gap. You know, so Sam, you know, that's yeah. I think it's a I think it's a gap between them. One or two more, coach. 
how hard is it for a backup to get off the sideline pull up against the really good defense and, and have success? Oh, it's hard. It's hard. It's not easy. You especially you got against a really good defense and they're moving around and they, they play solid football. But you know, we gotta get him ready. I gotta get him ready. I got I gotta do a better job of prepping him during the week and getting him ready and probably have to get him more reps, get a backup more reps. But sometimes a backup don't get any reps. He's gotta get mental reps and then he's gotta go in there and do his job. What's the, what's the challenge making you coming off of a game like that so physical and then going right back in this stretch that you're in Minnesota 131 nothing today this stretch? Well, it's big thing football. We got we to gotta come back. We got to go back to the practice field. We got to have another physical two or three days of practice and get back and get back at it. I mean, we can't we can't run away from it. We got we got to hit it. We got to go in ahead first. We can't run away from it right now. Coach, you were down, Nick, from last week. How do you feel those young guys stepped up with linebacker and all over on the defense? Well, I'll go back and watch the film. But overall, I thought they played pretty good. I thought they, they, they stuck their nose in it, and they probably made some mistakes. But that's for, you know, not having the reps that they normally have, you know, because there's more reps. So we just got to go back and look at it. If, if you have to go with one of those backups going forward, what can you guys do around them to, to support them, make their job a little bit easier? Well, I think we got to protect them, and also we got to establish a, a run game for them. So we'll, we'll go back and look at that. Okay. Thank you guys.